Hey, welcome back to Skyward Sword. We're here in the Elden Province. We're inside of a like a mining area, and we are dealing with these magmas, these mole-like creatures who are really annoying. I do not like these guys. Super annoying characters. I don't know. I think Nintendo hit a home run with Ocarina of Time in the Kokorai, the Zoras, and the Goron, Shika. They were all really personable and fun. Since then, they've kind of struck out. I mean, the Ukos, mmm, stupid. Very stupid, actually. And we got these things. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, even the Rito from uh, the Wind Waker are better. The Koroks were very annoying, but uh, they were better than these things. At least that's my opinion. Anyways, he wants us to take out all these guys. Um, what I'm going to realize, and what you will realize, is that there is an endless horde of these, uh, Boblikins, Boblikins, whatever. Um, and you can hear the guy calling them with his, uh, horn up there. But if you keep killing them, you're going to get a lot of items. You'll get a whole lot of skulls. Good way to rack up some rupees and items for making and upgrading items. So if you feel like doing that, see, just got another skull. So, anyways, guess I need to actually stop just killing these guys and go take out the guy that's having all of them come out. So we just gotta see where he is. And can't just knock him down, so I guess I'll have to climb up to him and actually confront the guy. Let's see if we can get him this way. I wonder if a beetle. <laughs> if this guy is afraid of it too. As I, I showed you guys earlier in a video, maybe. I don't know, it was several like videos ago. Where the guy was running from it. That guy didn't seem to run from it. That's a shame, because it was quite funny when a guy ran from it. So. Let's just run out there and get him. Ow, walk all this distance, and then Link doesn't want to jump, so I gotta climb. And Cat, stop meowing, nobody likes you. Stop. I just said stop meowing, it doesn't mean meow again. Stop it. That's Chewy, everybody. Chewy's my cat, he loves everybody, and everybody loves Chewy. Should make a sitcom after him, and people would watch it, and it would make millions. Stop. So, I'm going to put a blanket over his head and put him in the river here soon. <laughs> Watch it, I'll have PETA on my case. Uh, speaking of PETA, anybody see that uh, PETA got mad at Nintendo and made a website about how Mario is abusive to Tanuki raccoon dogs and promotes the murder and skinning of these animals for their fur? It was quite interesting. Um, I hate PETA. Nothing against animal rights, though I personally don't agree with all of it, but PETA, everybody who's a PETA member should probably go kill themselves, and that's the truth. Okay, so now that we've helped this guy out, he's going to reward us for our time with these coal digging mitts, uh, virtually worthless items since we get a new pair of digging mitts later on. I don't know why they have to give us items just to replace them with something else instead of just coming up with a brand new item or theme. I guess that's too much work. So now that we got that, uh, we're going to carry on. This, this was another video originally, but I just combined the two. May as well not split this up into a billion different sections and just uh, combine them and put less strain on your inboxes because you'll be getting a lot of videos otherwise. I got a whole lot of footage for you all. But yeah, this is more bowling. Just roll the bombs into the cracks. Uh, you just have to kind of work your way through. You don't have to do it to all of them, but if you do, then you'll find more treasure. And that's, that's pretty much it. You'll find more treasure. So, we just have to work your way around, get some more bombs. Which way to go? Roll it. What do he's got? Alright. 
I've already explored this area a little bit before I started recording. Uh, just to see what all was in here. And it wasn't anything of importance. Um, there was some ore. Some of the Elden ore. And there were some rupees. That's it. There's nothing in here that you really need. That's where some nothing was. And... Let's go ahead and do some more bowling. Bowling for seals. Oh, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. God, hate rolling in this game. So I'm gonna just skip it. I don't care about killing any more seals. I've killed, I've killed enough seals for today. So we're going to just go ahead and on in here where we just were. We're going to continue on through this way. Oh, guy almost got me. To work your way around, just go around him. You don't have to take him out. So um, again, if you ever see an X kind of mark with a little mound of dirt. You can use your digging claws, just press A, you do not have to equip them, they're automatically equipped, kind of like uh, power bracelets in other games and whatnot, and you will just dig a hole. That will take you right on top and then going to take us to a new area with more annoying magmas. God, they are creepy. They look like something that you see at a Chuck E. Cheese at a birthday par party gone wrong. That's... Jumping over yet? Hmm. I can do it. Let's see what I can do. Oh! Cutscene. <laughs> I don't even get a chance to. But, we will get a chance to see a new character. Check it out. That will be Impa. You'll find it out later. Spoiler, I just ruined it for you. Alright, Impa is on the Sheikah. I... Well, she's not fat in this game. She was fat in a few of them, uh, kind of like the originals, she was all old and wrinkled. And then in the oracles and stuff, she was fat. In Ocarina of Time, she was a skinny, she was pretty much like that, except she wasn't blonde. So, I think they did a pretty decent job with Impa here. And my only... I would like to see is more personality from her, that would probably be nice. But she's an awesome ninja-like character, and she's got some mad skills, which we'll see later on in the game. Um, so this section, you gotta make sure you don't run out of energy because you'll be using a lot of it. So make sure you let it recharge before you try and run. Otherwise you're going to run out and slide all the way back down the hill and you would not want that, would you? Because people like that, he should have smacked me. He could have knocked me right down. Oh well, missed opportunity for him. Alright, what we got here is a guard tower with a bunch of Bokoblins. Bokoblins. How do you pronounce that? Bokoblins. Nah, that's not it. Ooh, another skull. So, um, what you need to do is blow up that guard tower. Just go ahead and grab a bomb. See if I can blow him up. Nope, he ran from it. But maybe I hit that one, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, I wonder what those things are. They run out of the ground every now and then when you dig, you get just get these random little bugs with a sag that run away. We're just going to take one of these bombs, put it up here, and we'll knock this guard tower right down. Uh, the guy up top who is blowing his horn will fall, die, and we can carry on because that will make a shortcut for us. Convenience at its best. So let's just leave this guy. There's no need to kill him, is there? Maybe he was just doing it because somebody told him to. He might have a family and kids at home. Let's just leave him. And climb a wall. Jump. Jump, jumpy, jump, 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 jump. Yeah, I finally figured out if you shake your remote, you can climb. Amazing. I know in my several of my last videos I haven't been doing that when I should have. I figured it out. I said I would eventually. Anyways, I'm not that stupid. So yeah, well, let your stuff recharge because you got big hill to climb up. This area is fairly fun. And by fun, I mean it's not, but it's not that bad. As long as you time yourself, you'll, you should be fine. 
just uh, gotta avoid the rocks and you gotta make sure that you don't use all your energy you can barely make it up see that I mean, ran out oh no it knocked me down all the way down too not just one of them all the way down what a bitch so alright let's do it again See if I sneak up on them, bam! I them right off. Alright, now I'm gonna try and go up again. I guess I should wait for my energy to recharge. Maybe I should follow my own advice. Time myself and actually watch my energy. That might be a good idea. And when you get up here, you gotta wanna watch out because you gotta be fighting these guys while people are rolling rocks at you. So you gotta. Maybe these rocks are coming all over. You gotta make sure you. That works. The guy took out his own guy, and I only got sent flying a little bit. And here you can either take him out, but my best uh, bet is when they lift up a rock over their head, just run up there and try and climb up, because they won't stop to club you down while they have a rock over their head. But from here, we're going to listen to these guys talk about how there is a key to this uh, temple. This would be the second temple, but we have to find the pieces of the key. And they talk about how they're split up and hidden all over in five pieces. So the next video, we will hopefully find those five pieces. Um, Fai is going to add the keys as a dowsing ability, so that's what we will sp we'll spend the next part of this uh, Let's Play taking a look at. So until next time, subscribe and like, and uh, I hope you guys like my Skyward Sword. Thank you very much. まだ発する。